This is the Extra Point Podcast from Arizona's family. All right, we've had a, a star-studded list of guests here on the Extra Point Podcast over the years. This is our 250th episode, and we've talked about a lot of different sports topics here. But I don't know if we've had a topic quite like this. Sports and pop culture collides, so we had to bring in some special guests here to kind of help us sort things out. Uh, the Whitneys, yes. Brianna Whitney, Whitney Clark here. Here uh, we are, thank, Whitney Squared. Yes, yeah, Whitney Squared. I like, and I, I, I like the concept here of, of talking sports and, and pop culture with you guys. Uh, we've got some some real news to talk about here with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Oh, there's news. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of tea. Yes. And and so most recently today, I mean, it, the world. If you're only living under a rock if you don't know that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are allegedly dating yes um she was at the chiefs game and now jason kelsey and travis kelsey have their own podcast called new heights and he travis actually talked about it today so is it confirmed i'm really i listened to the podcast and i mean i had to kind of sort through like a lot of f-bombs and like <laughs> uh some stuff with the you know eagles defensive line which i thought was interesting yeah. but okay so it is confirmed like this is from the source they they are a, a couple they're no, an item no they didn't say that there was no he didn't there was no like definitive yes it right. was more just like he talked about her being at the game and that you know he made this very public but from kind of going forward he wanted it to be you know sort of a private thing that they weren't going to be discussing but they did address it yeah and yeah. um uh, jason kelsey's joke about taylor swift putting him on the map was like probably <laughs> like the highlight because so many people have been saying that like swifties know who he is now so uh pretty good stuff this really bridged the gap between yes. anybody who was not a football fan but a swifty and now we've got like a whole new era if you will of football fans um i i loved football before this but i also love travis kelsey so this is just like the the pinnacle is of it all cute things. are we like is this is this oh, a we cute okay this. okay we ship this as <laughs> the youngins ship. Yeah. say ship this with the t we ship uh, yes. uh, and like just like s-h-i-p yeah no t okay yeah. okay <laughs> no 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 t <laughs> only t for taylor and travis yes. not shipped yeah. <laughs> but i will say that i think it's it's not because it's just an NFL player, it's because specifically it's Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey and their whole family, I feel yeah. like was one of the biggest storylines of the Super Bowl. It right. Was I interviewed brothers. I interviewed Donna. Yeah, yeah. we had a good uh, chat. Mama Kelsey. Yeah, and I yeah, think it was yeah. like Mama Kelsey, Taylor Swift together in the suite. I don't think I think a lot of people didn't think we would ever see that. And so I think that they were so sort of beloved and people really liked their family that that's why this is like such a spectacle because it's just mm -hmm. not like any NFL I mean, is this player. like it's like JFK and, and like Marilyn Monroe or something like what's no, what no, is this? Was well, okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who I would even compare it to. Joe, do you have any comparisons? <laughs> OK, so we're going to bring in Joe, Joe now. I was gonna, I just hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit camera two. I meant to hit camera three. So Joe is our is our great sports producer here, an uh, NFL fan. Are you, are you, are you Swift? Uh, uh, Swifty by proxy. I don't know. I, I like. I like her. I'm, I'm not. He dabbles. So not like, he dabbles. Not like fanatical. Yeah. Like no. I'm a fan, but you know what I mean. Like respect her work. Kind I'm not of, yeah. spending a thousand dollars to go to yeah, a, a, no. a Swift concert. But some of us yeah. might. But if you did, would you wear something shiny? Uh, no, I wouldn't wear shiny. What Taylor what about Swift Taylor? era are you in? What era? Uh, what's the Shake It Off? Oh, oh 1989, um, of oh, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um. What's the one like under the bleachers? Uh, <laughs> um, red? Under the bleachers. Oh no, love story. Love story. Okay. Oh, love yeah, story's yeah. a good one too. Yeah, but yeah. that's okay. not the song. That's yeah. The uh, I wear a short skirt. She, she wears t-shirts. Shirt. I cheer the captain, captain and I'm in the bleachers. Dreaming about the day. <laughs> That was fantastic. I was not expecting Joe to pull okay, that out. Uh, uh, okay, oh, bad trouble, love, go. Trouble. What? Bad love, go. What? What is bad? Bad love? Bad love? Is That's it bad even... love? No. What is the song? Bad blood. Bad blood. Oh, okay. Oh bad. God. Okay. Okay. I know that one. Well, my That's big, a good one. Well, my that, question. Is, yeah. My question <laughs> yes. for for Mark yesterday was yeah. like, what do you know about Taylor Swift? Like, what yeah. is your Taylor Swift? Mm -hmm sort of knowledge okay so uh adrian de padre our intern gave me this okay <laughs> i don't well, did, did you guys give each other one of these that slay yes okay yes friendship so bracelet and that's how travis kelsey travis kelsey was able to rope in tay tay he that's tried exactly. he, he at the concert he he was like i put he well so he says i i think that's what i mean yeah, yeah. 
the, the biggest lesson we can learn here is Travis Kelsey went on after going to the Taylor Swift concert at Arrowhead and in Kansas City and said, I wanted to talk to Taylor. I made her a friendship bracelet. I tried to get her number, but she wasn't meeting anybody. And, and he put that out there in the public. So I think we've all learned that you, you have to take any shot you give. Like, yeah. Yeah. you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's what Travis Preach. said. Yes. And, Preach. Preach. and look Preach. at how it worked out for him. He shot his shot, and yep. it paid off at least. She went to the game, and yeah. one of the things he said today was that it was pretty ballsy, which, yeah. I mean, she has a very busy schedule. She could have found a million reasons not, not to, to go. go, but she said, hey, an NFL player invited me to a game. She was there. Okay, so if a guy, and I mean, I don't know if you've thought about doing this too, Joe, with the, with the friendship bracelet, it walks up and gives you a friendship bracelet, what's your reaction? I'm honored. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it would be like the fact that they, <laughs> I'm like engaged to a man Wait, who is like, no. No, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Would you but like I to be friends? You, I think if you were like a <laughs> if you were like a single woman and you were at a Taylor Swift concert and a guy gave you a friendship bracelet, you would think that was adorable. I would think it was so yes, cute. And exactly. honestly, at this point, I might still think it's cute at the coffee shop yeah. or something like that. You know. So, so is, is that how it works? Like, it, it, do, do people give people friendship bracelets and it, it turns into other things at the concerts? Like, what's the what's the track record here? Is there any creepy friendship bracelets? Anything like? You know, I I'm know. I'm way off the market. So I just so, I want to pass this along to my kids so they know, they know the rules. I I actually yeah. don't know because when I went to the concert, it was early on, and I didn't mm -hmm. know anything about the friendship bracelet thing. It wasn't yeah. until later that I saw, like, people giving celebrities friendship bracelets. But, you know, we could just try to keep it as a sweet, nice thing. Like, yeah. We just, like, let's not make it weird. Let's well, just uh, keep uh, it as a yeah. nice thing. I saw people, uh, like, show up to the concert early, and they set up, like, kids set up, like, a beating station, and they all beat it make at, so at, cute. at Which is cool. the concert. So yeah. instead of, like, drinking beer and watching a football game at a tailgate like they would make friendship bracelets and then just like their arms would just be full of them and then you pass them out amongst people at the concert and that is the yeah. thing as as the heiress tour went on and went around the country to joe's point people were trading friendship bracelets all the time and people were having armfuls but it, i think people sometimes forget the heiress tour opening night of the whole entire tour was here yeah. in Glendale. Yeah. Oh, that's and so, right. Were y'all there? Yes. She was, yeah. Yes, I was there. What, what, I remember just, it all Just tell us well. about it. Tell us, <laughs> tell us about the, well, it. Well, yeah. I mean, that was just, that night was so cool because now you see so many concerts on TikTok and you can kind of see what it's like. But on that on that day, nobody knew what the Eras tour was going to be. We had no idea what it was going to entail. And so it was a surprise for us, you know, 70,000 people in there and then everybody else. And so there was such an energy, but the friendship bracelet thing kind of was born as the tour continued. So yeah. um, had it had I known at that time, I would have made some friendship bracelets. It is uh, it is a regret. <laughs> <laughs> and when was that? When did when did the, that was March? This that was March. It was March. So this yeah. is a like mm -hmm. new thing. New, it's a new thing. New you're way ahead. You're you're on brand. You're very on trend. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. What was her first song, by the way? Her, Miss Americana uh, of the tour or ever? Where's that one go? Of the I guess tour? You know that one. Yeah. Well, first song. Yeah, first song she came out to. Like, what's what was the first yeah, one? Yeah, it was Miss Americana. It was Miss Americana yeah. and the Heartbreak yeah. Prince. Yeah. Okay. And then and then that I don't know that it, one. It segued gotta, into yeah. Cruel Summer, which is I know that one. That's a good song. Fun fact here. So Cruel Summer is so popular. Whitney and I. We have a favorite freeway in the valley, which is. Can which I guess? Wait, yes. Hold on, yes. on. Can wait, Joe guess? Guess, guess. guess what right. our favorite freeway, favorite freeway is? Fifty-one. Yes. yes. <laughs> Not the one forty-three. It's no. what's tone no. and half. It's no. it's no. like it's like you're cheating. It's, no, it's the, the one forty-three is amazing, no. by the way. Okay. It's okay. the fifty-one, yeah. specifically like at sunset. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, like when you're going like north on the fifty-one. Oh, uh, through you Dreamy know, Draw. Like yes. Area. I got engaged there. You did. Oh. Yes. What? Yes. Okay. So, yes. Yes. so you should know about this because the fifty-one is such our favorite freeway that to the point that Whitney and I have made. A Spotify playlist just for the two of us called <laughs> Cruising Down the 51. Yes. Yeah. And what's the first song on that playlist? Cruel, cruel Summer. Cruel Summer. <laughs> but there's, it's not, it's cruel? Oh, because is it like a happy song? Cruel Summer? Um, yeah. No, it's, it's a very upbeat song. Yeah. It yeah. was like, the song got really popular again when the Eras Tour started. And we did have like a literally a cruel summer here in Arizona. So oh, it, that's a good point. It made yeah. like yeah, yeah. perfect sense for us this summer. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we love that's it. That's a good one. So, yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Mark, do you know Banana Rama, Cruel Summer? Oh, that, from the that, Karate Kid. That's my favorite. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yes. What? 
It's a you great get, song. They remade it too for a, a surfing movie. But. Oh my god, oh. Taylor Swift needs to remake "Cruel, cruel Summer." That it's version. a cruel, cruel summer. Oh yeah, I know that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. know that song. Yeah. I don't know that. Yeah. Daniel Larusso was playing soccer it, on the beach. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then Johnny and the Karate <laughs> guys beat him up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an American classic. So the crossover between Taylor Swift and the sports world is that something yeah. that you think is going to be? annoying for sports fans do you mm. think it's gonna be like what br- have more people watch the games you and, know and the yeah. longevity of it how yeah. long do we expect swifties to be fully immersed in this world well i okay so i, I i'm the cynic here i i'm wondering if this thing's like set up like the 50s in publicity. hollywood yes yeah. like like but like why would they need more they publicity? weren't holding Either hands though well, weren't they holding hands that's what i, I think my fr- i think everyone's first instinct was like publicity but sure. also it's not like either of them really need it, but at the same no. time, like who, who knows? You right. Know? I think this might have been hatched in the offices in Park Avenue as they they tried to put together the next TikTok sensation here. I mean, I think that his um, his jersey sales went up like four hundred four hundred percent the next day. Right. Wow. Yeah. Or something wow. like that. So there was like a correlation between people actually watching like NFL videos and all of this happening and you know it's kind of it's a good thing for everybody which i think is great and and i think whitney kind of touched on this earlier but they're both pretty endearing people love the kelseys they also love taylor swift yeah and travis and taylor have those silly personalities taylor it's (laughs) oh my gosh it's it's whitney's like they're going to prom no when they were in the car like leaving the stadium it was like you were watching two kids in high school like i love the dance (laughs) that's like literally what and i think some people like are so probably like over it and don't care, but there's just yeah. so many terrible things happening in the world. Right. Like, this yes. is right. something. This is a, a fun distraction. Yes. Yes. And okay. I and I will bring up. I just because I have to. Recently, now among all the things that have gone viral with this whole situation, but there was a tweet that said Taylor was in the suite eating a piece of chicken with ketchup and seemingly ranch. Seemingly. And oh, so and then she loves. Okay, yeah. So, so, so I love ranch dressing. So I. Oh, I am, okay, yes. Like obsessed yes. with it. But now that has taken off as well. So brands like Arby's, Heinz ketchup, <laughs> are all tweeting about their best menu items with seemingly ranch. There's merchandise now. Yeah. The Empire State Building. Thing, Twitter account. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. Lit up red <laughs> and white and said, ketchup and seemingly red. <laughs> the Empire State Building. Oh my so gosh. I mean, it's how tur- much product can she move? It, well, She's it a is, power. It have is, we ever seen? It is no. kind of crazy to see like how something can like really catch on, yep. and it's like just been this whole week. It's been like that. And so what? What do you think one of her like posts is worth? Like if we were to, I mean, oh, oh I don't even know. Um, I mean. Because I know her tour was like over a billion a bi- yeah, dollars. I think maybe I, yeah. two billion. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It would be a lot. So how many people are eating ranch now? Are you finding that it's not readily accessible <laughs> at grocery stores? <laughs> well, the grocery store ranch is not it anyway. So let's. <laughs> Hold on. What, so what's the difference? Oh, come on. Hidden Valley does not. That's a whole nother podcast. We've got the, like, the nother, shaker at home. A, we like shake. That's it, like, a whole nother got, podcast topic. But do I think yeah. people who don't normally um, include ranch in their meals might do it just to be a part of seemingly ranch? I do. And, and I support it. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you up for an endorsement deal if we get you one? Oh, my God. Yeah, of course. The <laughs> ranch podcast is brought to you by talk. seemingly ranch, the <laughs> Whitney Squared segment. <laughs> when, well, I, when I saw that picture of the chicken with the ranch i immediately thought of brianna she, <laughs> she everyone in ranch. the newsroom knows how much she loves ranch. like i have a ranch cup in the newsroom refrigerator that says brianna's ranch just for whenever there's food here that's honestly embarrassing so what do you what what, what else goes with it besides chicken like i mean pizza pizza, pizza, pizza. quesadillas quesadillas oh yeah quesadillas fries cheeseburgers grilled cheese grilled cheese what? wings yeah no you guys it's sandwich Sushi? I thought I Not knew you. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure we go, weren't going too far off the rails. It's, uh, off, it's already that's there. That's pretty obvious. We're, yeah, off, the we're off the rails. Joe, yeah. what what do you think this does for the NFL to have Taylor Swift I think as part of it? Eventually, NFL fans are going to be like, "Can we stop talking about like, like yeah?" Like yeah. I showed yeah. I showed Matt Hippie, our, our sports producer. Oh look, she's rumored to be going to the Jets games, and he's like, "Is this what it's going to be every time? Like every game, <laughs> is she get is she going to be there or not?" I'm like, "Probably." Um, and there are so many they call hardo um, NFL fans that they're going to start hating this right. more. Oh. Well, we have a good example of that, right? What is that? Jessica Simpson. Um, oh, that's yeah. right. There's yeah, when she was dating Tony Romo, I do remember uh, that. that was like, oh, this is cool. And then she sang halftime, and then she's up in the suite, and you're like, 
Tony Romo threw an incompletion. It's Jessica Simpson. Well, fault. there have been some like um, Giselle Boonshin and Tom Brady were yes. married for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Um, I'm Ciara trying to think of Russell the other. Wilson. Yeah, they're still uh, together. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and she's yeah. Uh, people. Jessica Simpson. Are, are they blaming her for his his woes? Jessica yep. Simpson ended up marrying another NFL player, Eric Johnson. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. I thought she was married to Nick Lachey. There, there was they were a married a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 those I didn't are finish sort of the reality show. Those are the biggest celebrity couples I can think of. The yeah. football, NFL, celebrity couples. Someone made couples. the point that like NFL players don't usually get A-listers. That's like NBA because you can be seen on court side. So, so oh, that's interesting. Oh. I never even thought of, of that. I thought of like a lot of these NFL players are, are kind of like together, like wifed up already. To to get like a single bachelor main name is kind of rare. Yeah, my my thing here is is you have Taylor Swift who's just dominating the world basically, but she has this insanely ex successful tour. She's enjoying, she's having fun, and you've got Travis Kelsey who just won the Super Bowl. He's fun. He's enjoying his life. They're about the same age, I think. I, mm -hmm. I think these are two people that just are happy they're seeing what happens they're seeing where this goes and they're enjoying it and and kind of living for the ride of it and i love that so where does it go we'll, we'll kind of land the plane here <sighs> fair i mean yeah. i i'm like one of those people that on the podcast today he was like he wants to keep it private which i i'm one of those people that i totally respect that because i do think something should be private and if they really do want to be a couple then you know but i mean it is very public and it's very out there so i mean you know wedding bells <laughs> Travis and that's, Taylor. That's what that's, Can you imagine like that's the, the cake? That's what people are oh. hoping for, but you know, you can only hope that people are happy, I suppose. Hey, but Bill Belichick said that this was his best catch, catch ever. Catch, yeah. So, you know. If you've got Bill Belichick actually talking, <laughs> like that's that's a win. <laughs> Even yeah. Travis said that on his podcast. Yeah, did, yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I think I, I hope for the best. I'd love for this to work out in the end, but honestly, I think they're just having so much fun no matter what, and we love that for them and and everybody is kind of coming together for this and you can't hate it well and the best thing is is on sundays if she does go to the games that means like wives and husbands and everyone in the household might have a reason to be uh, watching the yeah. games you know if you right I, right I will tell you that i was very disappointed on sunday because i figured out i couldn't watch the chiefs game. i was when i found too. out she was there i don't get the channel yeah well yeah we i didn't either fix that here. we have so a sports channel now yeah. the game was such a blowout that they switched to a, the cardinal Oh, actually, no. Locally. Well, the Cardinals oh, were playing, yeah. and, and normally, oh, yeah. to be I fair, actually normally wasn't I do here, watch so the Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. But I, but at this point, Taylor Swift, I just yeah. So that do you want? Happened around the country though, like they CBS cut or Fox cut and went yeah. to the Cardinal game. Mm -hmm. That's oh man! It, it, you wonder if they would if they put a a, a camera on Taylor the yeah. entire time. I think that's when I we're gonna know if if, <laughs> if she's cool, Taylor. like if she's doing this for the pub, or if you know, I mean, it, at some point, yeah. like you said, Joe. Did you see the one video like? She like cleaned up everything. Yes. Oh, I did see did that. Did she really? We yeah. love a clean girly. But what's also <laughs> but what's also kind of <laughs> what's also kind of weird is that she's not very public with her other relationships. So right. like yeah. to be seen publicly like that was very she's written songs, a lot of songs, and you know who she's dating, and there's like paparazzi yep. pictures. But to be like that was something that I think a lot of Taylor Swift fans were very surprised to see because that's not something we typically see of her. So how much more will we see her? Like is she we can you know. only hope a lot. Right. Okay, so y'all y'all want uh, like a camera on her, like I know uh, a channel where you can watch her watch the football game. I think I would watch a lot more football if there. Was I'd be down for that. Camera. Yeah, I mean, I it's like like this. What if we get her on the sidelines? Like what if NFL, she's down there cheering or something? Like NFL people. What if she's a like, ref? Oh my god. Yeah, the Manning cast has to get her on too. Oh my gosh, the Chiefs game. that would be great. Think she'd do this show. Well, I mean, I, I hope this is a, a top episode for you guys. It, you know what? This is, Joe said it. What do we call it? Swifty at 250. This is the 250th <laughs> episode. Oh, that's so, congratulations. Yeah, this Thank is you. awesome. Yeah, that's that's big, huge. big moment. Congratulations. Yeah. The extra point yeah. is killing it. So shout well, out to you. Taylor thank and Travis. Shout out to Taylor. And how do we get invited if they're, if they're at the wedding? Like, can we cover that? You think that's a media event? Oh, it would um, have to be. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think the four of us might not be If the there's one the list, credential, who gets it between the, you two? Oh, oh, we'd have we'd to have to, uh, we'd have to have like a, a <laughs> karaoke like we'd yeah, have to like have like a lyric. Oh, we'd oh have my to, like, gosh! Okay, we'd have to do like trivia. What what song would you sing for the win? If I had to sing a Taylor, well, if, if I had to sing, I sing it all the time. Um, probably like Bad Blood. Just just because I'd be going for like the gold. All too well, ten minute version. Oh wow! Which nobody see, wants to hear me sing for see, ten minutes. See the fact but. that you even picked that, I'm like, <laughs> I feel like you would have to be the winner because you picked the ten minute version song. I just love that song so much. It's probably my favorite Taylor Swift song, but it's hard to pick because there's so many good yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. Joe, yeah. 
for the win? Oh, uh, trouble. I like. Oh yeah, I like. How's, that I knew you were trouble. trouble? Yeah, it's it's like now I'm lying on the cold trouble. hard ground. Oh. I knew you were trouble oh. when you walked in. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is a good one. There's been a lot more singing on this episode than I thought was gonna. No, it's I good. Happen. It's good. We should start a family band here. Yeah, and at least we've taught you that it is bad blood and not bad love. I I do <laughs> we know were, this. We were very mad. Thank love. you, thank you. I haven't had I haven't had a lot of time to listen to that's the okay. hits. That's um, okay. That's okay. But I I will leave you with this. I think I think we just tell everybody. I think we just have a sleigh day. Sleigh day. Sleigh day. Sleigh day. Swifty two fifty. And the Extra Point Podcast is a production of 3TV, CBS5, and azfamily.com in Phoenix, Arizona.